in this video we are going to be looking at how to find the original price of something and especially in the case where you are given percentage okay specifically it can be a percentage decrease okay so that's on the one side an example of this is maybe when they give you a discount on an item for example you have a shirt and they say wow it's a sale 50% off so in this case the amount decreases right there was an original amount and that's the original price and then it decreases it becomes less right so the formula that you would use here to find this original price is you would just say 100 because we are working with percentages over 100 minus that amount that percentage so if it says 50 percent you will just put in five zero just 50 and then you times that by the new price you are given all right so we are going to be looking at an example quick and easy on how you can apply this formula but just remember it and then at the end of the video i will show you how we get these formulas uh, i'm going to give you the second formula now so on the other side we have percentage increase this guy is used for inflation when we have inflation you know inflation so the price of something always increases we have something simple like bread and that price goes up by i don't know maybe five percent each year it's crazy and you could also have something in the case where you have a salary um, hike or, or a salary increase a pay raise maybe also ten percent or whatever and maybe you want to know what is the original amount, the original price, what was here before there was an increase. Okay, and then you would use kind of the same formula, the only difference being now I add a plus on this side. Okay, okay, so it's 100 plus that percentage and then you multiply it with the new price or the new amount or whatever you see. Right. So remember these guys, let's look at an example here. Um, I'm going to get a highlighter and underline important parts. So a t-shirt is marked down to 300 Rand of the 25% discount was given. What was the original price of the shirt? So they want to know what was the original price of the shirt. Okay, first step is to go and draw an arrow. This price is percentage decrease because my amount decreased. Okay, there's my t-shirt. It was something and now it's 300 rand okay so now it's 300 rand it was marked down by 25 percent okay let's try and find out which formula we're going to use it's this one percentage decrease because the amount went down there was some discount applied okay look at your formula let me use my color i'm going to write it down how do you find the original price you say 100 over 100 minus that percentage times the new price okay so it's going to be 100 over 100 minus 25 when you put this in your calculator you just say 25 nothing else don't put the percentage sign or anything don't put that there okay and then multiply by the new price which is 300 okay so this is 100 over 75 and the answer is the original price was 400 rand cool now we need to go see if that 400 makes sense Go to your little arrow here at the top. I started off with a price of 400, then I got a 25% discount, and now it's marked down to 300 rand. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. Perfect. Cool. Let's look at the second and actually also the last example that I have for you. Okay. So, I'm getting my highlighter and aligning the important things. If the price of petrol increased by 7%, and is now 24 and 50 per liter what was the original price before the increase so these guys are looking for the original price and there was an increase okay so this amount uh, increased and is now 24 and 50 what was the original price this sounds like it's inflation so look at your formulas decide which one you're going to use we're going to use percentage increase and I'm going to write down my OP. How do I find that? I say 100 over 100 plus 
that percentage and I multiply it by the new price. So in this case, I'm saying um, 100 over 100 plus 7, just 7, and I multiply it by 24,50. This then becomes 100 over 107 multiplied by the 24,5, and the original price was 22 rand 90 cents. Does that make sense? Let's see. So I started out 22 rand 90 cents, then I added 7% to get 24 rand. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So maybe you're wondering, how do I get this formula? Okay, so looking at the example here, let's start off with something basic like, okay, finding the new price of something. Let's find the new price of the petrol. So you would obviously use the full price, right? Plus then the 7%, another 7% of the old price. Okay, so you'd use the full thing plus, of course, 7%. So yeah, in the place of full, I'm going to put 100% plus another 7% because the price went up by 7% of the old price. And in this case, you just add that, it becomes 107% of all the brackets can, I can actually just make that a multiplication sign times the old price or the original price. And then on this side, we have new price, new price. So this would kind of be the way that you find the new price, right? If there is an increase. But now in this video, we wanted to determine how you find the original price. So I want that guy alone and I wanted a formula for that. And in this case then, we took the 107 and we put it over 100 because it's a percentage. We have the times there and in this side we have new price, okay? If I want the original price I want to isolate that, get it alone on one side. Then I flip this fraction. So it becomes 100 at the top and 107 at the bottom. And then times the new price. And so this is basically how we get this formula of the original price. So this is just a little extra explanation. They're not going to ask you in the test how you got this or how it works. I'm just trying to show you a way to determine this but if you remember both the formulas in the beginning the ones we did here you should be 100% fine so that's the end of our video thanks for watching remember to like share and subscribe